This is a terrible, terrible situation. A fatal accident involving a garbage truck took the life of an 81-year-old woman in Stillwater last week. And tonight, Margaret Peterson's family is still coming to terms with how suddenly she died. Fox 9's Rose Schmidt is here, and this is just a sad situation for the community who loved her so much, Rose. Kelsey, we heard story after story today, how she climbed trees and went ice skating with her grandson, but mostly that Margaret Peterson lived in the same spot for seven decades and her intention was always to die there. Aside from the fact that we all age and change through the years, this was my grandmother. Though she didn't enjoy the spotlight, Margaret Peterson's face will forever be a part of Stillwater history. Seen here during the 1965 flood as just Lady Shoveler. As the only Lady Shoveler going out there in her white sandals <laughs> while she was on her lunch break, but she was out there all the time whenever she could just to help. For the next nearly 60 years of her life, her grandson Josh says that's how she continued, lovely and helpful, but headstrong. I found her out there last week trying to um, chop a branch off that tree because it was looking a little loose from one of the storms. <laughs> the woman known by everyone on this block where she's lived for 70 years, now memorialized outside her home. Stillwater police say it's the same spot where she was hit and killed by a garbage truck on April 25th. Neighbors believe she was trying to deliver cookies to the driver at the time. She would even just to be nice, uh, bake cookies that she couldn't eat because she was celiac and she'd have all these cookies and just go out and hand them to everybody, whether workers, she'd drive to the bank and pass them out. Josh moved back to Stillwater a year ago, thinking he would care for her, but quickly learned it was the other way around. She was his longtime guardian and at 81, his sole confidant. Their bond becoming even stronger after his mom passed away in 2015. Grandparents always tell you how proud they are, and you always wonder, is that just a saying? But she would always say, you're my pride and joy, Josh. A legacy Margaret started with her own grandma, whose home she bought. When it burned down, she rebuilt it in the same spot, and it's where she finished out her final days. This has been her home. Roots have gone straight down into the depths of Stillwater. For the woman who didn't enjoy getting her picture taken, Josh is holding tight to the moments he does have. That was her favorite. And making sure the roots continue to grow by staying here and continuing that Stillwater legacy. It's still going to be my home, and it's going to be the way that I can continue to honor Grandma. This was her home. I want to keep it as nice as I can. A waste management spokesperson tells me the company is sorry to learn of this unfortunate incident, and it's cooperating with authorities. Meanwhile, the family has a GoFundMe set up to help with funeral costs. We have a link on our website, foxdine.com. Back to oh, you, Randy. We wish them the best. Goodness. Okay, thank you, Rose.